cool would it be to turn something that you're passionate about into a career? That's what Crystal Ambrose did. She's an environmental scientist who started taking action on garbage that was washing up on the shores of the Bahamas. After receiving her master's degree at Dalhousie, she started her own organization called the Bahamas Plastic Movement. Let's go learn more about it. Clearly this is not the Bahamas. Hey Crystal. Hey. Tell me a little bit more about the Bahamas Plastic Movement. Well, it's an environmental nonprofit organization that I started about five years ago, and we're geared towards research, education, citizen science, and policy change, all as it relates to plastic pollution. <laughs> The unique thing about our organization is that we directly engage young people in being a part of the solution and we help them to understand that their voices are important and they have the power to make a difference. That's amazing. So what is the biggest problem you're facing in the Bahamas? In our country, the biggest problem is waste management and marine debris. And on top of that, we receive the world's waste that washes onto our shorelines every year. So even though we don't produce most of that waste, we still are responsible for cleaning it up. So we know that garbage is bad, um, but what's the bigger issue that we're worried about? This plastic is working its way up the food chain. You know, microplastics especially have been found in so many fish species, especially the fish species that end up on our plates. So what scientists are trying to figure out is, what does that mean for human health? Um, scientists are still trying to answer that question and, and we don't know right now. That's why we have you. Exactly, <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. With Crystal's education and the research she did on pollution in the Bahamas, she was able to make a real difference. How cool is that?